Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss what how to create the table and insert the record inside the table using DB2 database. So add here or DB2 that I already installed. Now here I am going to open. So this is the directory of DB2. So we need to click add here DB2 command time processor plus. Now at this place you can write any SQL query. So first to add here when I'm trying to create the table. So this is the query to create the table. So add here no database connection exit but database connection is required. So that's the key add here connection name con give it to admin so add your database that is so sample now local host here give the password sorry port now here password so when you give all information connect so it will connect with the db2 admin now here you can uh, create the table inside so add here this is the query the command completed successfully so like uh, other or uh, sql query like uh, whatever you are using on oracle sql server the same thing you can use at this place so add here id name address chief four columns are there and here id integer time generated by default and here as identity and this is not null this is not null so not null that means you must insert some value inside the column and here zip code that is you can give null values you cannot enter it's the optional now here value 150 the size 150 means maximum you can enter 150 or uh, characters and here this is the 255 here you can enter maximum 6 here integer so you can uh, enter maximum value of integer on the id so about the identity column that i will discuss and here this is the primary key id so primary key id means only unique value that is stored so when you uh, run this or uh, query then here i am getting the message the command completed successfully that means so uh, table created so i wanna see the table so you can use select extra from EMP. So there is no any rows, but add here table is created. Now, if you want to insert the record, so this is the query to insert the record. Here, insert into EMP the table name, and here first is for ID, ID name address zip code. Now, here, ten then tally and here this is the value now if i press enter the command completed successfully means the value that inserted now you can use select a star from emp so iit has 10 name sam address tally zip 5600054 now here after the next is so this is at here inserting now you can insert null values on the chip so here i am not to trying to enter any value and uh, here i am going to enter duplicate trying to enter duplicate value inside the table 
so 10 that already is there now if you press enter so was following 10 some kind of error masters expects the ex uh, may expected token may include valid expression so online one now here yeah, let's give for unique value so giving 20 now copy and try this code this query so this time here the command completed successfully and here this value 20 unique value that inserted so since primary key applied on id so id must be unique and your name address it can be duplicate now here let's uh, insert the null value on and here keep the comma and 30 so again i'm getting 40s um, and uh, okay so here so this time i enter the value that accepted in the table now here you can check the record here you can see this that is null in last here id 10 20 40 name duplicate at duplicate but id since i have specified unique so it's all unique now here after the next is here this is the query now you can create the query so at this place you can uh, write to primary key here it's not necessary you can you should to uh, identity column you should to uh, it's not mandatory if you want then you can care now here id name address this is not now not now now let's the uh, uh, check this query so emp table it's created now here after copying inserting the values press enter so here the command completed successfully like this if i try to insert duplicate values so that you have one more value insert unique statement like this kind of problem it's happening so here only you need to change id because id is the primary key primary key must be unique values so add here command completed successfully and you cannot give a null value on the primary key so let's give null here again some kind of error method it's a display so primary key any integer value you can enter that should not be null or not be duplicate now here let's give for uh, uh, 30 and uh, when i'm trying to enter daily daily oh uh, sorry address null so again getting the error uh, since i specified to add this space address not null when i'm trying to create so here you can see address not null so not null means you must enter the values inside the table so let's give and here pretty now press enter this time command completed successfully so this is the way we can create the tables inside or db2 so here i used to create table insert the record and select a statement so if you are giving to select extra from emp1 so a star that indicate to uh, its action all the columns from the emp table so if you want to uh, display only id so in place of uh, a star you need to give id so it's a displaying id only now if you want to display id and address you can also do that only you need to write address so here uh, i think it's uh, not correct 
A double T or E F. Okay, it should be so it to not necessarily it can be smaller bigger, but add here the name must be of a numeric name must be same. So add your ID and address it's not display. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. It's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.